Hello there 3D printers! I thought I would give you a quick show of some of the stuff that is available to download through Thingiverse, Pinshape, Shapetizer and various other 3D printing websites so that you have a bit more of a look rather than just some photographs. So we'll start with the big one, the one that started off most, which is Atlantis. It's about 20 centimeters across, designed to fit the maximum platter size for my particular printer. It was printed in a single piece It took about 23 hours to do. It's a bit dirty because it's been in the fish tank. There was no need for any support structure on any of the buildings. There was a bit of support on the end here. And generally speaking, I would recommend that you print the base off separately and then print the buildings and glue them on if you want to have the absolute best finish possible on the buildings themselves. Next is the most popular thing that I've done so far by a long shot, which is the Fallout Vault-Tec symbol badges. Uh, this version is not quite the same as the version which you can download. There's a little bit more detail on the one that's available on, on Pinshape and Shapetizer. Just a bog standard one there. I also do a version which has got vault numbers on, which is available for download. Both of these use my standardized magnet holder and pin adapter which go in a slot in the back. Uh, so these have holes in for magnets. The magnets which you need are linked in the description, uh, which go in these holes, in those holes, or if you just have a baby pin, you print off this adapter, which slides in there, pin through it, and you can attach it to your clothing. I have the Star Trek Voyager EMH mobile emitter, with the same standard fitting on the back. This one was done before I decided to do the pin, so that's how it looks now. This one's just a slightly tattier version on the front. So the main thing that's different between this one and other ones I've been able to find online is there's a little bit of detail that I've thrown in there on the circuit board section, so you don't need to find a PCB to put in. But if you want, I can do a version without that, that's not a problem. My newest little badge, which is the Starfleet Insignia, which is from Voyager and the Next Generation movies. Uh, this one is specifically made for my new Bluetooth communicator, so at the moment the version here has not got my standard fittings, however there's enough space so I'm going to redo a design which does. That will be available for download soon as well. It's a mobile phone stand, specifically intended for the Xperia Z series. It definitely works with a Z1, it should work with a Z2, 3, 4 and the 5, which is uh, being leaked at the moment. It has a bit of an alien theme to it with Wayland yutani logo. This one I was running out of black just before the end so I fed in some grey to finish it off which is why it's got this stripe across the top. The version that's available for download for free has got Wayland yutani written across the front however if you do want your name across there I'm more than happy to provide a customized STL file for download after you make a purchase through Pinshape. So those are my current things. I'm obviously working on a lot more. I have Stargates and Puddle Jumpers and there's so much more to see. Uh, so check out our channel, check out my items, like, subscribe, share the video and enjoy your 3D printing.